oh my god, oh my god, React 17 is here and all my knowledge of React is now obsolete. Relax, don't worry. A couple of weeks ago, React 17 was released and behind me, you see the blog post announcing the release of React 17. What is interesting to note is that React 17 comes with absolutely no new features. So what you have seen as part of React 16 point, uh, so on in the previous uh, versions of React are still there in React 17. Now React 17 comes with a, a feature to allow gradual upgrades of your React application. So for example, parts of your React application could be using older versions of React and some parts could be migrated to uh, the newer versions of React and so on. Now, this starts with React 17 and going forward, that would be the way you would be migrating your applications. But in any case, the standard operating procedure would be to upgrade your entire React application if feasible. Now, React 17 has been released with that purpose in mind, and you can read more details about it in the blog post that you see behind me. Just to prove to you that nothing has changed, I have migrated my earlier version of the React application that I released in an earlier video to React 17, and you can find it in my GitHub repository. So let's go ahead and clone the GitHub repository. So add the prompt type git clone github.com j mupala confusion react 17.0.1.git and clone it to a convenient location on your computer. And once the GitHub repository is cloned, you will move now into the folder containing the React application. And then go ahead and install all the packages by typing yarn install at the prompt. And once the installation is complete, let's go ahead and open the application in Visual Studio Code. And once the Visual Studio Code is launched, let's open package.json and you can check out that indeed we are using the latest version of React here, uh, React 17.0.1 and React DOM 17.0.1 here. Let's go back to the terminal and then launch the React application by typing yarn start at the prompt. Uh, make sure that the JSON server that we are familiar with from the React course is up and running in another tab uh, of your uh, terminal or in another terminal. And then let's go ahead and launch the React application. And once the application is launched, you can go ahead and view it in a browser here. So here we have our favorite confusion application running in the browser, but now using React 17.0.1. Going to the GitHub repository, you can actually check out all the commits for this project here. Now, every one of these commits is exactly the same as what you have seen in my earlier video where I uh, described the re-implementation of the Confusion application using hooks. And I have used exactly the same code from the previous version without a, changing a single line of code. And it works exa exactly the same way with React 17. So that shows you that React 17 hasn't changed a whole lot from the earlier version of React and your code can easily be migrated to React 17. So we have the 
main branch where I show the hooks implementation of the React application. And also I have the recoil branch where I have shown you the use of recoil um, state management library for managing the state for our React application. So both versions of the React application migrated to React 17 are available in this GitHub repository. So go ahead and check out the new version of the React application running React 17. And note that there has been no change in the code from the earlier version of the React application. Enjoy React 17.